Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good and make you feel good. All right, so we're about to get into these 10 fragrances. These are affordable Middle Eastern fragrances. These can be found on like your gray markers like uh, Triple Traders, Fragrance Net, Fragrance Spy.ca, as well as Joma Shop. There is one on here that's kind of questionable, but I added it because I recently saw it on sale, okay? So I'm going to say that you should be able to find most of these under $50. Some of these, um, yeah, $25. Okay, let's just get straight to it. So my fragrance of the day is from the house of Armoff, and this is Derby Clubhouse Gold. I bought this a couple years ago here on Harwin in Houston, where we have some Middle Eastern fragrance stores. And, <laughs> yeah, so this is, for me, Metafesto from YSL like on steroids like for like three four hours and then it kind of dies down to a more powdery beautiful heliotrope powdery almond type of scent so i was going to the cabinet and i looked through and was like ah oh, i forgot about you you know type of fragrance right so i like to wear this in spring or in cooler temps so i think this would be perfect for like fall and winter but it is definitely that powdery very feminine I don't think it's a unisex fragrance and I think it's uh I don't know if the gold is for women and the silver is for men but our moth tends to say a lot of their fragrances are unisex okay but anyway this is a very powdery heavy on the almond that sharp clean like crisp cold almond with heliotrope and some beautiful powdery notes so yeah anyway this is derby um I don't know if y'all can see that clubhouse gold I would say girl I probably paid Twelve dollars <laughs> a couple years ago for this. If I could find it, I'll link it down below. And I would say it's like eight thirty tonight, and uh, before I started filming, I could still smell myself. Like, yeah, it's it's been on all day. So it's a really good one, especially if you overspray. Plus, it was hot today, so it's probably why it's like amped up on me. But anyway, let's get into another one. So we're just going through some fragrances that are not in order but i'm going to go ahead and talk about this one because you might want to click pause and go to German shop i put a post up on the community tab the other day so if you're not following me please follow me and make sure that if you do subscribe to the channel that you go ahead and click the arrow down underneath the subscribe button and click all so you'll be notified when i do an upload as well as an announcement or something in the community tab okay so this right here this is Kamra from the house of the Tafa. A beautiful oh this is a warm scent beautiful just think of like a darker liquor a smooth darker liquor with some sweet notes to it this is a beautiful scent like with added honey or something like that this is really good and they had these bottles for 30 something dollars so raise your hand if you bought your bottle or you bought your backup <laughs> backup on the way okay this is a beautiful scent. I love this. It just reminds me of a warm, almost like hot toddy, spicy type of sweet um, liquor, like nightcap. That's what it reminds me of. So anyway, this is Kamra, and this is from the House of Latafa. Very affordable fragrance. You can get it under $40 right now on Joma Shop. One thing about these fragrances, these Middle Eastern fragrances, when they become popular, then they tend to go up in price. So at one point, this was like 50, 60 bucks. But as other fragrances come through, mainly from the same house, it becomes more um, like mass appealing. People are starting to purchase more of it. You'll see the other fragrances sort of trickle down in pricing. One um, example is Shalaf Oud, which is a beautiful fragrance. This is a dark, deep, super sweet heavy on a sugar rose and oud combination so this right here one time we used to get these for like 15 dollars back in the day these were really cheap then they were like 25 dollars. nobody really cared about the 25 then out of nowhere there was 50 dollars. So i was like are you kidding me so right now you can find like a 2.5 ounce bottle on amazon or joma shop for about 20 something dollars so definitely get it you don't need but two ounces okay to be honest so this thing right here you're not going to overspray it Unless you're like me and like to spray coats <laughs> with this fragrance. Uh, I like to spray my body and fabric and coats when it's cold because I love to move through cold air with this scent. It's a beautiful, dense, sweet, alluring scent. I like to smell on a man or a woman. This has that beautiful, syrupy, sweet, like praline in it. Oh, man, y'all don't know. 
y'all just don't know. So anyway, sometimes at night, I like to like lightly spray my sheets or I'll spray myself like and then walk through kind of spray. But this is Shadow Boo and this is from the house of Swiss Arabian. This is a beautiful fragrance. Like I said, you can choose Amazon and I'll put my Amazon link down below. I'm sure this is on there for one of my favorite fragrances for under like 50 bucks, but you can definitely get these for $25. And this is going to last you all day, friend. This is one of those fragrances. If you do spray it on your coats or your clothes, it will have to go to the cleaners. <laughs> this next fragrance is called Rock Ba. This is a beautiful, dark, sweet, beginner oud scent, I would say. I I personally prefer Rock by Wood Intense because it's deeper, it's a little bit more smokier and more resin to me, but this is like beginner friendly. This is that, um, yeah, I really like this in Cool Temps. I like this in Fall. It's very cheap and it has this sexy sweetness to it. It's just, for me, mm, I'm trying to see, it's sweet very sweet it's really good though and i'm trying to see if it's for men or women i think both can wear this i just think this one's sweeter i prefer this one more for women and the rock by wood intense for men but this is a really beautiful sweet i, I keep saying sweet but it reminds me of like resin it reminds me of raisins you know like that sweetness you get for raisins i don't know why it just, just came to me but yeah but it's definitely a um very soft ooh, like it's whispering you don't even barely hear you know what i mean you're like what what are you saying that's how soft the oud is in here so yeah definitely check this out rock by wood no rock by <laughs> i'll try to link it down below you can find these from amazon super cheap and definitely like fragrance by a joma shop yeah you can find these like for nothing barely oh i had to smell this this is so good to me all right so y'all know i have a love for swiss arabian for years now like it's been my jam for i don't even remember when but anyway casablanca everybody will be talking about casablanca come fall we know how it goes but casablanca to me is a beautiful it's almost like a warm glass of apple juice but then if someone put a splash of praline like a little pump of syrup or something like that in it and this is so good and so sweet and it just reminds me of like fall bobbing for apples fall festivals that type of thing and although it is sweet and it kind of gives that apple juice vibe, I think a man or woman can wear this. Like, it's just a fun fragrance. Nothing like serious or whatever, but it is a decent lasting uh, fragrance. And I would say moderate projection. This is one I would definitely spray my clothes with, you know. But this is one I like to spray with other fragrances too. <laughs> I used to spray this with Kaoli Vanilla 28. So, yeah, that. But... Oh, I have it on my hand. It just smells so good. I can't wait to wear this this fall. But this is Casablanca, and this is from the house of Swiss Arabian. Now, this one right here is basically a clone of another fragrance. I just really enjoy this fragrance. Y'all, this is so good to me. This, this is from Al Harame, and this is Amber Oud, but this is the Tobacco Edition. This is so good. This is <laughs> this is a take on tom ford's tobacco girl what is it called tobacco uh tobacco vanilla tobacco vanilla yeah this is good oh man this is a sweet rolled beautifully dipped in vanilla uh, cigar this is good this is good it, it almost smells like it has some resin the vanilla dip cigar all in one and as it smoked you can just oh yeah this is really good this is really good <sighs> the one thing about these you have to make sure you're getting the right one this is that copper like color um bottle they have one that's like red one that's like gold i think they have like a blue one now so just make sure you're getting the right one but this one is the tobacco edition definitely a unisex fragrance leaning masculine I don't really know too many women that wear this fragrance. I wear it, I enjoy it, I really like it. But this also, I don't know, I, I shouldn't spray myself. I really shouldn't. I'm just doing way too much. Yeah, this is really good. This is long lasting, huge projection, worth every penny. Now the one thing about this fragrance, this is one of those that will fluctuate. 
So sometimes you'll find this for 39 or 49 and then bam, I don't know where it'd be 60 bucks. So I'm gonna hunt and see um, the cheapest place I can find this for you all and try to link it down below. But anyway, this is our Herme and this is the Amber Oud Tobacco Edition. <laughs> So another one that I think that most people or women would enjoy is the Laventure Rose. And this is from Aha Remain. So Aha Remain has several line of fragrances. You have your Amber Oud line, then you have your Laventure line. So a lot of people know the Laventure line for the dupes of like the Creed Adventures for her and for him. Well, this beautiful fragrance, it comes with this little rubber thing on the top. Just so y'all, I took that off. I, I, can't, I can't stand that color. It just looks more, it just looks more appealing like this, right? Yeah, anyway, this is so good. So, I've been finding these like for 30 bucks. I told you all, even if you just get the smaller bottle and don't get the bigger, um, just get the small like 1.5, whatever it is, for like $20. Um, you don't need to spray that much at all. And it will last you. <laughs> Especially, unless you, unless that's just your only fragrance. And then it will just last you through the fall and winter. This is good. This is really good. This, I don't know what this is doing. I'm going to say this again. For me, this reminds me of wearing Roses Vanille from Mancera with Roses Greedy. There is a greenness in here, but a dense, sweet rose sugar type of thing going on. But I also get like this greenness that I get from Roses Greedy. So I don't know the notes, and I don't know what's in here, but yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna spray this on myself. I'm, I'm, I got too much going on. Yeah, this is really good. I like this. And when I first got it, I was like, oh, this is strong. But now I, I really enjoy this. So this is Lavature, and this is the Rose Edition from All Her Main. This next one is pretty new to my collection. I haven't had it, but like a, uh, a couple months or so. And this one's called Mocha Woods. You can barely see like the name on there. You're not gonna be able to see it because of this light. But Mocha Woods, look at this bottle. They have a green bottle like this. I don't know what it smells like. I just said I'm just gonna buy it because the bottle just looks so good. The craftsmanship of the bottle is just, oh, it's just everything. Y'all, this is so good. This is so good. This smells so good. This reminds me of something, but it's almost like this has chocolate and coffee and, and oud and sugar and sweetness and maybe rose. I don't know what's all in here and some spices and some incense. This is so good. This is really good. So this reminds me of like, okay, a little oud, some chocolate, some resin. When I think of resin, I think of like maybe myrrh or, um, I don't know. I don't know what's all in here, but this one is good and spicy and it's probably leans masculine. I'm sure. But, uh, for the female, for the women who like a little, mm, at the dark, uh, all black leather, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, this is a bad girl fragrance. This is good. These are cheap. These were like, I don't know how much was this, $25? And this thing really lasts like a good while on the skin and projects beautifully. It just reminds me of spicy chocolate and coffee. Yeah, spicy chocolate and coffee. And when I say spicy, I mean like cinnamon and resin. I don't know, but this is good. Definitely get your hands on this if you like that type of scent. You might like this because mm, this is good. So this next one is um, more feminine side. It's a little bit softer. It's gourmand. And yeah, so this is Nebras and this is from the house of La Tapa. So Nebras has been off the chart. Like we went from like 20 some dollars to $35 to like 54. So this one might be tipping the scale, but I did see it the other day for like $48. Like we right underneath the $50 mark. Ridiculous. But this should not, well, I mean, the bottle is beautiful. It's worth $50, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, when it comes to fall, this is like a beautiful vanilla cookie. And I told y'all, it just reminds me of vanilla cookie, almost like, um, what's that cookie vanilla wafers with a little zest of lemon zest on top. This is really good in Gourmand, Netflix and Chill, Close Encounter. We're just going to the movies. You want to smell good, smell edible, okay? 
but you don't want to fan anybody around you because you know we all sitting a little close to each other this is really good i like this one just a everyday like running like a quick date nothing like to whatever it's just a casual like fun date this is really good i like this just take your little back up to respray friend okay excuse yourself go to the ladies room and respray but this one give you a couple hours i say about four and a half five hours i love nepris it's a beautiful scent to me it's just a really good vanilla feminine fragrance i don't know if men would enjoy this fragrance or not on them on themselves but I'm sure they would enjoy it on a lady. So definitely check out Nebras. I'll try to find it at a at the less expensive price if I can. But this one might be tip of the scale because y'all, as soon as somebody talk about it, they raise the price. So let's get into this. So y'all know I was gonna pull this out. So this is Oob for Glory, and this is from the House of the Tafa. This is so good. This is said to be duping Oop for Greatness. But when I got the sample of Oop for Greatness, I would say this is about 95, 92% the same. I don't know. I just think that Latafa really uh, just did their take on it. But this is very long lasting. This is sweet. This is saffron oud. And like saffron ooh, this is so good okay so i see people sometimes i'm sorry i have a stool underneath my feet so i see sometimes people talk about this fragrance being very masculine and spicy so i would say spicy because saffron is spicy i don't really see it as just for men i see this as like especially women who like that that saffron like you like saffron and ooh. You're going to be obsessed with this. And the fact that you can get this for like $25. Are you kidding me? So this is my second bottle. My first bottle, I ended up emptying it because I was giving everybody samples. Plus I used it. So there you go. And nobody should go through a whole bottle of this in like a year. That's ridiculous. But like I said, I was trying to give people samples so they wouldn't just go buy it. You know, whatever. But this is good. This is good. Speaking of samples, I might do a sample sale. Where I take like five Middle Eastern fragrances, um, two meals, and just do a quick sample sale for you all. I might do that. But anyway, this is really, really good. I love this. Ooh for Glory from the House of the Tapa. Just sweet. Some incense, oud, and saffron. Yeah, this is yours, <laughs> ma'am. Okay, yeah, that I love that. All right, so last but not least, and the thing about this one is, I don't know if I can find this under $60 or under 50 because it comes and goes. Like, literally, Labor Day, this right here was $40. $40 Labor Day. I kid you not. And I'm telling you, these were like $50, $60, like, easily and this from Omar and this is Imperial so Imperial is a take on like Delina exclusive but I think it has um, more hints of Delina in it as two and then it's their own like musk that's it this is so good jeez we so I already have backup with this but um yeah I see that a lot of the companies let that Labor Day sale go on throughout the week so if it's still on, I will try to find the best deal for this fragrance from our mouth. We're not going to stay on it too long. We all know that this is, this is just, it's huge projection. Lasts all day. And I'm telling you, I, yeah, this is good. This is sexy. I get so many compliments off of this. This is crazy. Like if I just know I want a compliment, I'm going to spray. And this is very addicting too. I couldn't even put it up for last month. I literally was wearing it in 100 degree heat because it smelled so good. It's so alluring, okay? Definitely a feminine fragrance. I don't know if men would like that because it just reminds me of um, like a sexy woman, like got her ish together. Like it just smells like, yeah, it smells good. So anyway, those are the fragrances I wanted to share with y'all that I felt that were affordable that you should have for fall for sure when it comes to Middle Eastern fragrances. These are some of the best of the best under $50 for sure. There are a few more others that I think could probably hit this. Um, I would say like, 
any of the opulence, like opulent oud, opulent red, opulent um, the black bottle, whatever it's called, that is good. It's more masculine, but um, it's, that is good. And then, you know, it's a few other cheapies out there, but these are just, these have the sweetness, the sultriness. It just reminds me of fall. It reminds me of, um, you know, cozy weather, cozy blankets, that type of thing. Pumpkins and all the things, family, and just fall. Yeah, it just reminds me of fall. Even the colors of the juice, like they just remind me of fall. This remind me of liquor. But this reminds me of like, you know, fall. So yeah, definitely check them out. Let me know if you have these already. And if you don't have them, which one are you getting? Okay, so I'll do the work and I'll find the best deal for you all and I'll put them down below and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me today. If you like this type of video, make sure you click like. And um, yeah, y'all just keep watching. Keep watching, friend. I'm not gonna even say nothing about y'all subscribing because y'all not gonna subscribe. So just keep watching. I just appreciate you watching, for real. Thank you so much and have an amazing day. Peace and blessings.